what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here i'm going to be talking about uh an opening an opening kill sequence um or just an opening in general that a follower of mine on instagram brought out to me or brought to me he dm'd me about it um uh, the the name of this user's account is called movie layer so go ahead and give that person a uh follow on instagram again that account name is movie layer m-o-v-i-e and then of course layer l-a-y-e-r go ahead and follow movie layer on instagram because he came up with this idea that i'm about to go over in the video uh he's on i believe uh he's on on the track to get 2000 2000 followers on instagram so go ahead and give once again movie layer on instagram a follow for coming up with this idea if you like it uh basically he did me talking about as you see in the thumbnail i have double d's character i know i brought up at one point in a video an opening kill idea and how we could see the creeper go after minxy and i know a lot of people in the comment section were talking about hey what about double d well movie layer messaged me about a opening kill sequence that involves double d and it's it's pretty interesting in my opinion i think a lot of us are gonna a lot of you who who love jeepers creepers 2 and who are interested in seeing what's going to happen in jeepers creepers 4 if we ever get it are going to love this and i know a lot of us want to see the creeper actually go after people that he had his eyes set on not just wake up and forget about them like once he marks you you're marked for life until he actually gets you until or until somebody kills it uh but getting into it i'm gonna just throw some of my some of my uh opinions into this and my own type of spin on what i got messaged on instagram so essentially in in the opening i'd like us to see uh basically the creeper in the taggart barn well not necessarily see the creeper in the barn itself but yes start off in the barn uh and then we just see bloodshed all over the all over the cornfield uh or not even in the cornfield but in in the in the taggart barn bloodshed in the taggart barn uh taggart's taggart's body is we don't get to see taggart's taggart's lifeless body but we definitely get to see taggart is still sitting in his wheelchair and he's not moving but there's blood dripping off of the harpoon that he had in his hand blood dripping off the harpoon that he had in his hand uh the creeper's no longer on the wall there's a big hole in the back of the back of the barn where the creeper was hanging up the bat out of hell sign has been ripped uh and jack taggart jr he's he's in the barn as well uh he's gonna be outside of that hole that the creeper the creeper went through outside of that big hole in the back of the barn that's where we'll find the corpse of jack taggart jr again no confirmation that the two are actually dead or not uh but we do know for a fact that the creeper did escape the barn uh and then what i would like to see from there is getting into a movie layer message me uh of course the film will be set 23 years later jeepers creepers 4 that being set 23 years later after the first movie and if we recall in jeepers creepers 2 we follow the bannon county bantams the high school team and uh the the county they were from was bannon county one of the many highways on victor salva's fictional uh east east nine highway um but set 23 years later we would pick up at the bannon high school uh bannon bantams high school where we pick where we catch up with double d who is now grown up of course and he's not only grown up but he's now the coach of a football team similar to how a like a, a callback uh to how to the position that he was in in the second film but now he's no longer a player he's he's one of the coaches um and the bannon bantams he's basically coaching this football team uh and once he's basically working with the team and they're they're having practice of course for a big upcoming game they have against pertwilla county and we know we heard about pertwilla county in the first jeepers creepers film uh but they're training for a football game that they have coming up double d is the coach and he basically after a successful practice with his teammates or with his players rather he uh sends them to the shower sends them to the locker room tells them they can uh go and hit the hit the showers and then from there double d is going to be on the field alone uh he's going to start hearing wings flapping in the air but before that i'd like us to get a little bit of uh get to see how how this is affecting him we get to see that he he's not fully recovered from this he's still like suffering some type of ptsd from the creepers attack because he he nearly died 23 years ago so that um uh, that can mess some people up it, especially encountering something like the creeper <laughs> Uh, we can see that he still has like flashbacks and little moments when after the players have hit the showers and he's still on the field just walking around and looking up at the Friday night lights. Um, 
the we can see that he is out there and just reminiscing about the events that happened in the second film he closes his eyes for a brief second he gets starts having visions of the creeper on top of him at the end of the second film and him screaming and he has visions of the creeper chasing him in the back of that in the back of that truck while uh Izzy was driving the truck with Rhonda and how Double D was stuck in the back with only a flare gun. We get more visions of him visioning the creeper, uh, visioning that creeper, that scene where the creeper was chasing all of them in the fields. Basically just using a bunch of clips, of course, from Jeepers Creepers 2 for these flashbacks. Uh, and Double D is just, we get we get an understanding that he, he hasn't fully recovered from the attacks by the creeper. In fact, he's, he still lives in fear that it will come back to get him. Similar, I know, yes, to Pennywise. If if some of you have picked up on that, this would be very similar to Pennywise. Once once Pennywise marks you, you're going to be claimed by him or you're going to be his until he either gets you or until you figure out a way to defeat Pennywise. Um, same thing. I, I want to see that with the Creeper. Double D has been living in fear for the past 23 years that when the Creeper does return, if Minxie's theory was correct and it does come back every 23rd spring, that the Creeper was going to return for him. Well, his suspensions, his suspicions and his lifelong fears are going about are about to be brought to life. Um, movie layer kind of gave me another he gave he's the way he described it. They described it in a very different way. Uh, he's going to hear wings flapping and he notices the creeper and then the creeper comes down swerving at him. I want to get into that a bit. Um, I like what I'd like for us to see is I like double D to start hearing noises in the air. The creeper, yes, has followed his scent all the way back, all the way back to the Bannon County High School, of course. Uh, but he starts hearing noises in the air after he's after he's had these visions of the creeper uh, terrorizing him in the past. And then he looks up in the air and he basically does that that stereotypical cliched line from a horror movie. Hello. Um, I don't know why he would necessarily say that if something's up in the air. But hey, you know what I mean? <laughs> Uh, but then getting into more of that at some point, yes, he's going to end up seeing the creeper in the sky or maybe even on top of the, uh, the locker room that the boys are in. Um, and then he basically has a moment. There's a moment in moment of silence where the creeper is locked eye to eye with double D who is standing out on the football field and double D looks away for a split second to pull out, um, because he has he actually has a, he would have a gun on him he, he pulls out a gun and when he looks up the creeper's gone but then when he looks behind him the creeper is coming full head of steam at him come, about to swerve down at him and pick him up and he's running to the boys locker room and he's telling the boys to the boys start to come out and they see their coach running on the field he's telling the boys to get back get back get back uh, while he's screaming and telling them to get back because he's he's actually running to get into the locker room with them He's running for his life. The creeper's coming down. The boys look up, and of course, they're going to see this winged monster coming for their coach. Um, and then, right as it's right as it's, uh, of course, going to come in and get to Double D, get into the locker room. The creeper is going to, of course, swoop him up successfully. He's going to pick Double D out of the air, and the only thing that we're going to be left hearing and seeing is the sound of Double D screaming while the creeper takes him uh, away to his lair. Um, and then after that, we can get our title cards, Jeepers Creepers 4, Jeepers Creepers Resurgence, which is what I would like to have it called. Um, and then we go from there. We pick up with Trish. We pick up with um, finding out what exactly happened in the Taggart Barn. How did the Creeper escape? Uh, several different things we could do going from there. I I really appreciate a movie layer sending me this because I think it's great. Um, I think it would be a, a very good, well-executed opening to catch up with Double D and then have the Creeper uh see that double d has come up become a football coach and he's at the same high school uh that he graduated from in the same high school team that the creeper attacked all those years ago get to catch up with him for a bit see that he hasn't fully recovered from the attacks uh it'd be great if they could get the same actor somehow uh and then of course he just falls victim to the creeper he'd be a, he'd be the first known victim of course because at this point we don't know if the taggarts are still are still dead or not that that's going to be up for us to find out after we know for 100 percent certain that double d has been uh picked up by the creeper and yes he's going to be having died because the creeper's going to take him to his lair and do whatever he does to him <laughs> um and i really think that would be a cool opening just to catch up with double d see him again and then get to have that iconic opening because i'm pretty sure if you do it right victor salva he could bring it to life easily seeing the creeper attack uh seeing the creeper even in that type of setting on a on a high school football field uh, I think that would be very cool and just to see something something different for an opening an opening kill I believe for Jeepers Creepers 4 is a way to go 
Uh, I'm a big fan of Scream, as you all know. Scream is my favorite series, so I wouldn't mind having an opening kill in the Jeepers Creepers movie. Uh, but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.